Have you ever wondered why some seeds grow into beautiful plants while others don't? Picture this. A long time ago, there was a diligent farmer who planted two tiny seeds side by side in a common place. He nourished them with all the tender care they needed, a generous mix of manure, fertilizers and water. Daily, he patiently tended to them, making sure they were neither too dry nor too saturated. These two seeds, though planted at the same time and in the same soil, had starkly different views about their future. The first seed was brimming with ambition, longing to grow rapidly to spread its roots deep into the soil and reach its green leaves towards the sky. The second seed, however, was a bundle of fear. It shuddered at the thought of opening its buds, worried that a snail might find it a delicious treat. The second seed always feared growth and avoided it at all costs. As time passed by, the first seed began to grow. It transformed from a tiny speck into a sprout, then a sapling, and finally, a tall, robust plant. The seed had spread its roots deep into the soil, reaching far and wide to draw the nourishment it needed. As it grew, it enjoyed the cool touch of the earth, the warm embrace of the sun, and the gentle whispers of the wind. The plant grew taller and taller, its branches reaching out like arms, eager to touch the sky. Then one day, beautiful flowers bloomed on it, their colours as vibrant as a painter's palette. The dew on its petals would sparkle in the sunlight, catching the eye of every passerby. The plant reveled in the attention it got, its blooming flowers a testament to its growth and resilience. But as the first seed was flourishing, the second seed remained the same, held back by its fears. One day, the growing plant couldn't help but ask the little one why it wasn't growing. The towering plant, with its branches reaching high and roots dug deep, turned to its companion, who remained a mere sprout, and said, why do you not grow? It's been years since the farmer planted us. If you need help, please let me know. I'm here for you. The little seed nestled in the earth replied with a tremble in its voice. If I send my roots into the ground below, I don't know what I will encounter in the dark. And if I were to open my blossoms, a small child may pull me from the ground. No, it is much better for me to wait until it is safe. The first seed listened patiently, understanding the fear but saddened by its friend's decision. The second seed chose safety over growth, while the first seed thrived. Then one day, something unexpected happened. The farm was visited by an unexpected guest, a mother hen leading her brood of chicks, scratching at the soil and searching for food. They came across the patch where our two seeds were planted. The chicks, hopping, pecking and chirping, followed their mother around. And there it was, the second seed, still hidden beneath the ground, afraid to grow, afraid to live. The hen, with her keen eyes, spotted the seed. With a quick peck, she scooped it up and gobbled it down, sharing some with her chicks. Just like that, the seed that was too afraid to grow, to change, to live, was gone. Its fear of what could happen had led it to its end. Instead of becoming a beautiful plant, admired and loved by all, the second seed became nothing more than a meal for a hen and her chicks. The second seed's fear of growth led to its end. So, what does this story teach us? Well, it's all about the power of optimism and the courage to take risks. You see, the two seeds in our tale represent two distinct attitudes towards life. The first seed, eager to grow, was willing to face the unknown. It wasn't afraid of the dark soil or the possibility of being plucked by a child. It dreamed of reaching the sky, of blooming into a beautiful flower. Its optimism and courage allowed it to root deep into the ground to flourish and bring joy to passers-by. Contrastingly, the second seed was ruled by fear. It chose safety over growth, waiting for a time that felt perfectly safe. But life is unpredictable and the very safety it sought ended in its demise. So the moral of our story is simple yet profound. Those who have a positive attitude towards life and dream to grow will prosper, while those who carry negative attitudes and refuse to take risks will eventually fail.